Millie Weaver reporting for Infowars.com. We are here in Ohio at an early voting location where yesterday we saw a limousine bus that was bringing in some college students. I'm just going from Kent State to pick up students to bring them here for early voting. Going. We have all kinds of vehicles, party buses like this, bigger ones, smaller ones. We have everything you can imagine. All I know is of this one. I got this a call late last night. I was taking people from uh, their private plane to the uh, progressive field for the Indians Cubs game. They were Chicago fans, so they flew in for the game. So that's who's paying for all this. There's okay. three of us. There's another van smaller than this, and there's a stretch them all. I can't remember the guy's name. Sty Styler is his last name. He likes Hillary, apparently. This limousine bus was being paid for by a company called Next Gen that believes in climate change. So we followed this limousine all the way back to Kent State where he was dropping back off its students. And we actually talked to this group. What is this? This is um, Next Gen Climate, and we are an organization dedicated to pretty much stopping Donald Trump because he doesn't avoid, he doesn't believe in climate change. Um, and we have um, shuttles and uh, limos going to take people to the polls to vote early until six o'clock tonight. Are you guys giving out snacks too? <laughs> yeah. I think today's the only day, but um, yeah, today's the only day that we're taking. You said you're with a cl uh, climate change group, so I wanted to know what about next gen. He lies in the literature that his group pushes out to voters in America that Donald's key supporters are David Duke, the KKK, Vladimir Putin, and Big Cole. You're going to have a deportation force. We're rounding them up in a very humane way, in a very nice way. Yo soy Tom Steyer. Y es hora de alzar la voz. Vota. 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 Steyer made his money as the manager of a $20 billion hedge fund, amassing a fortune through a variety of investments, including many in the very fossil fuels he now decries. He made most of his fortune. Uh, in foreign coal investments, the very energy he now, one of the energy sources he now says he wants to get rid of. Uh, I think a lot of Americans will see it as hypocrisy. Steyer has continued to make money off these unclean energies while simultaneously decrying them. He actually has large investments in Asian and Indian coal companies while at the same time lobbying to close coal industry in America. He has been under investigation for pay-to-play politics He's campaigning for Hillary Clinton to get federal tax subsidies for his green energy projects. In fact, he's actually the largest single donor to Hillary Clinton's campaign at $20 million. He pushes green energy as a weapon in America in order to get carbon credits. Tom Steyer has a family of nonprofit corporations that are in violation of IRS tax law for partisan activities. He very well could and should have his tax-exempt status revoked for these partisan activities. This is Millie Weaver signing off for Infowars.com. Thousands of years ago, there was a basic form of chivalry. Our ancestors would hear the drums of war, giving the warriors of the tribe a chance to organize and prepare a defense. 60 years ago, when foreign air forces were approaching filled with bombs, they had drums of their own, air raid sirens. But in the 21st century, there are silent weapons for quiet war. Pathogens added to the food and water and to the lining of plastics that destroy our vitality turn off our hormones, and accelerate our journey towards death. I personally counter this onslaught with Anthroplex. Anthroplex is designed with known organic concentrated herbs to create the basic foundation to normal metabolic activity inside the human body. Discover why Anthroplex is turning so many heads today. It's time for us to take our bodies back into our own hands, and it starts at InfoWarsLife.com with Anthroplex.